And um, I had one or two events that I might, I'm going to share with you. We were doing this, this banker's house and he had his swimming pool with these pebbles around the outside and these huge big French windows. So I, the, one of the, the guys, the guy who job was to use the brush cutter around the pool that day, or cut the grass around the pool that day, I had said to him, under no conditions was he to use the brush cutter. All right. And I went back to the vehicle because I needed to look through my diary and I needed to make a few phone calls. And I thought I'd have a bite of my soul me after because I thought I would take seven days to work. And I was about to dial my first number and I, I just heard glass. This is this silly bugger. Started out the brush cutter and as he put it, he suddenly remembered I, I had said don't use the brush cutter. And while it was still spinning, he put it down, <laughs> took a stone and <sighs> big French window gone. <coughs> Thank goodness for the man the shirt. Poor Zick. All right, you can shut up now. Anyway, sometime later, we had had a really, really good day. Sorry, pause again. No, anyway, we had had a really good day, and this particular Friday, we had to work till five. We had picked up a, a once off. And it turned into a huge job, sir. We only, we only finished that job at about five. So I said to the guys, would they like some Kentucky? Because I'm very sorry that I've kept them late. And so we, I parked outside the Kentucky. Now I've got this big, huge, big brown bucky. A huge trailer behind. Loaded up with grass. And in bags. And... Um, yeah, I jumped out and I was in, I was staying in the queue in the Kentucky in Mpsonga, waiting for my order. And the guy behind me tapped me on the shoulder and said to me, are you driving that brown bucky? So I said, yeah, what's the problem? He said, my friend, you better go and have a look. So I walked outside. I had forgotten to pull the hamburger. up. Where was the bucky? Straight through the shop window of Tonga Plaza. <laughs> Bras and panties and bikinis, like, lying all over the shop. Unfortunately, what, it, what, what transpired is when the cops arrived, the policeman picked up this number plate and said to me, what the hell is this? So I thought, that's a strange question. <laughs> so I said, um, I think it's a number plate. <laughs> And so he points down to the car and he says, what, the, what is this? And what I didn't know was when my boss bought this car in Joburg and she had relicensed it, she had just slapped the one number plate on top of the other. Now, banging through the window and over the pavement and whatever, the number plate fell off. So immediately the traffic cop assumed that something fishy was going on. Well, I got away with it. Um, the guys tried to take, they were threatening to sue me for the glass and uh, you know for just dest for destroying their shop and whatever. But luckily, one of one of my landladies.